This is so... I can't believe this! <laughs> You've never been in my bed before. I know. I'm in your bed! You're in my bed! <laughs> You're in my bed! You're in my bed. <laughs> Because the bed squeaks, because the walls are thin, because Red has the ears of a wolf. Uh, reasons why parents might hear us if we do it. Right, okay, okay. Uh, uh, gee, Mom, it was hot, so we took off our clothes, and then we got cold, so we got under the covers, and things just started bouncing around, uh, and... Things, I might say, if my folks catch us doing it. Yes, okay. Uh, 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 Vonda, Ford, the eighth. Famous Henry's. Yes, oh, okay. Uh, because there's a girl in your bed. Because there's a girl in your bed. Because there's a girl in your bed, damn it! Uh, reasons to go for it! Yes! Yes! So I, uh... Welcome to Let's Make a Deal. All right, Donna, which is it going to be? Your future behind door number one, door number two, or door number three? Oh, my God, I don't know. Oh. Okay. Yeah? Door number three. Door number three. All right, let's take a look at what you didn't choose behind door number one. It's a leather jacket and a typewriter which you could have used when you became a globe-trotting rock and roll journalist. Wow, that would have been nice. Yeah, too bad. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what was behind door number two. The U.S. Constitution, which would come in handy when you became the first woman president. Oh, Monty, these prizes are bitchin'. Yeah, truly bitchin'. Now, let's take a look at what you did choose behind door number three. It's your boyfriend and a promise ring. I love you. Congratulations, Eric. I guess this opens up a whole new world for you. One where you can actually date chicks. <laughs> And don't think I haven't already thought of that, my friend. <laughs> Bachelorina number one. I've been diagnosed with a disease that makes me irresistible to women. If you were my doctor, what would you do to treat me? I'd order you to stay in bed for three weeks. With me. Uh-oh. I'm feeling better already. <laughs> Bachelorina number two. Well, I'd have you stripped down for a complete physical. Well, then I guess we know what's up, Doc. <laughs> number three. I'd write you a prescription for love and tell you to take me three times a day. Careful. I might OD. <laughs> well, Eric. <laughs> it's time to choose. Which one of these luscious, fawning chicks will it be? Gosh, they all sound so great. I can't decide. Well, that's okay. Your point place high's most eligible Viking. You can have them all. <laughs> How tremendously fair. <laughs> Kelso, tell Eric what he gets. Bachelorina number one is a hot cheerleader. Bachelorina number two is a hot cheerleader. And Bachelorina number three is a hot gymnast who used to be a hot cheerleader. Well, until next time, this is Eric's jealous friend Hyde saying, I wish I was Eric Foreman so long! Don't put me in your fantasies. 
don't even like being in your real life. You can put me in your fantasies, I don't mind. I don't have a lot going on. Another old lady. She can't even reach the wheel. Can't watch The Price is Right again, I just can't. Summer totally sucks. There's nothing to do. doomed that's funny no we're not all doomed one man here still has a chance one man can take a stand for all of us and that man's name is well we can't pronounce his real name so we call him Fez I don't want to take a stand I just want Nina to be my girlfriend and give me Nuki Fez come on give it a try it'll, it'll be like Battle of the Network Stars think about it Welcome back to the Battle of the Gender Stars, where it's the gals with 50 points. Yeah! And the guys with zero. But the guys still have a chance, because our final event is conveniently worth 51 points. You guys are pathetic. Wow, that's some tough talk, Jamie Farr. I'm switching to the gals, Steve. I could do that because I wear a dress on M.A.S.H. Okay, now let's meet our contestants. Representing the gals, the lovely Nina. And representing the guys, the lovely Fez. Fighters, go! Taking. Let's do this thing. That's right. <laughs> Gentlemen, let's go get our cojones back. <laughs> I gotta see this. <laughs> hey, man, you coming? Nah, I still have my cojones. <laughs> my lonely, lonely cojones. Okay, the game is password. The box says, using one word clues, get your partner to say the secret word without using the word yourself. Okay, what Dana, is... Dana, please. I already read the box. What's that? I said box. Okay. Here are your secret words, and good luck. Okay, Eric. Staircase. Jedi. I'm sorry, that's wrong. Hide. <clears throat> um. Fat. Staircase. Fat. <gasps> Escalator! Yes. That is correct! What? What the hell? Jackie, see me later for your prize. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are so better than you. Eric, how did you get Jedi from Staircase? Uh, Donna, the path to becoming a Jedi has many steps. <laughs> you guys. I just took my baby girl to the playground, and she's just like her daddy. She's way cuter than all the other babies. And she eats bugs. Wow, Michael. You spent every weekend this month with Betsy. The only other thing you've done this consistently was cheat on me. That's not true. He also glues himself to stuff with amazing regularity. Whatever. Look, Brooke is totally starting to trust me now with Betsy. And... She's letting me pick out Betsy's godparents, and she only has one rule. It can't be Fess. Well, that is a smart rule. Godparents, like, we need any more responsibilities. I know, such a burden. <laughs> okay. So I've been thinking about this a lot, all right? And it's a big deal, so... Eric, Donna, 
Uh oh. Please scooch over so I can ask Hyde and Jackie if they'll be Betsy's godparents. What the hell? Hyde and Jackie? We win! I was voted most popular, best legs, and now godmother? What can't I do? And the password is. <clears throat> I burn. <laughs> <laughs>